As promised, my dear friends, we will continue our discussion of the Church's teachings on the means of social communications. We selected the latest document written about it entitled Il Rapido Sviluppo, or The Rapid Development. Il Rapido Sviluppo is an apostolic letter written by Pope St. John Paul II in commemoration of the 40th anniversary of Intermirifica, the document of Vatican II we discussed last week. For its interesting and new insights on the Church's openness to social communications and even to the Internet, this document was once dubbed as the most authoritative papal statement on the church and communications by Russell Shaw of the America Magazine. Let us see what it offers to us. In reference to Pope Paul VI's immortal words that the church would feel guilty before the Lord if she did not utilize this powerful means in evangelizing people, Pope John Paul II underlines that the Church is not only called to utilize social communication, but also to integrate the message of salvation into the new culture that these powerful means of communication create and amplify. The use and, in effect, the adaptation of the contemporary techniques and technologies is important for our age. We have been seeing more Christian communities utilizing the various means of social communications, including the Internet, to communicate the gospel and catechetical instructions and formation modules. For Pope John Paul II, these media are precious aids in the spread of the good news, Christian values, and the message of peace. He declared in this document that the Church's utilization of these media is a response to the Lord's mandate, go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. I could not agree more. And we are not only speaking of television, radio, film, and the press here, my dear friends. There is also the internet that nowadays is accessible to all. Have you been following Pope Francis on Twitter? Which blogs do you regularly read? Have you already subscribed on our YouTube channel? These new technologies create communication opportunities not only between the church and the people, but also among them, for they can interact with each other and enrich each other online through fora and pages. Pope John Paul II said, the internet not only provides resources for more information, but habituates persons to interactive communication. He added that we, the ministers and the faithful alike, should not be afraid of new technologies, for these rank among the marvelous things, intermirifica, which God has placed at our disposal to discover, to use, and to make known the truth about our faith and our dignity as God's children. So let us utilize these media, mindful of the guidelines in producing materials which we mentioned last week. Pope John Paul II invites us, especially the youth, communicate the message of Christ's hope, grace, and love, keeping it always alive in our day and age. Allow me to quote a portion of the message of Pope Francis for the 48th World Communication Day. It is not enough to be passers-by on the digital highways simply connected. Connections need to grow into true encounters. So, brothers and sisters, online ba kayo? Connect with us 
and let us enrich the faith of each other. Let us witness to Christ in this new technological world.